Welcome to Shaping E-Commerce with Iron Plane. This is where we talk about e-commerce development, solutions, digital marketing, and all things e-commerce. Be sure to check out the description below each video to find additional resource links and show notes. We upload new videos each day. Please like and subscribe to our channel. In this episode, project manager Kristen Jordan gives an overview of Big Commerce and discusses the benefits of this robust and scalable platform. Plus, she gives examples of some big brands using Big Commerce and discusses various platform comparisons. Um, today, I'm here with Kristen Jordan, who's one of our amazing project managers here at Iron Plane. And in today's video, Kristen will be giving us a general overview of the Big Commerce platform, and she will discuss the benefits of the platform and if it's right for your business. So Kristen, why don't you go ahead and give us a quick introduction and tell us a little bit about what you do at Iron Plane. Thanks, Susan. Hi, everyone. As Susan said, my name is Kristen Jordan, and I'm a project manager at Iron Plane. I first started with the company about five years ago. Being a project manager is about guiding clients through the website build experience and making sure all of their requirements are met during the build and making sure that the website is a good representation of their brand and their company. I love what I do here. It brings a lot of variety. I get to work with a lot of great clients and every day is different, which is a lot of fun. Sounds great. So, okay, let's dive into it. So first, what is Big Commerce? Okay, Big Commerce is an e-commerce solution that's been around since 2009. It currently supports more than 90,000 stores in 120 countries, so it's huge and it's quickly growing. Um, what it does is it allows customers to build their online stores right from their web browser. It's, so there's no software to purchase or download, and there's no web hosting to have to worry about. So that makes, makes it a SaaS platform, which is known as software as a service. And then can you give us a general overview of the platform and some of its benefits? Yes, I can. Uh, Big Commerce allows business owners to set up a store, customize it to their needs, and then sell an unlimited number of products. And those products can be either uh, physical products, digital products, or service-based products. So you, you have a lot of range there. Uh, some of the key features of uh, Big Commerce, there's a lot of customizable um, pre-built site templates for you to choose from. There's built-in SEO, marketing and conversion tools, and also tools to manage shipping and payments. And all of this comes out of the box. What that means is you don't need to download additional apps or pay for extra services. It's there as soon as you open your big commerce store. And then you talked about products, but what types of businesses are best suitable for the big commerce platform? And then can you give us some examples? Uh, sure, big commerce has, uh, a huge range of, of clients. Uh, some of them are just uh, startups and some of them are major corporations like Martha Stewart, Toyota, Kodak, Ben & Jerry's are all big commerce clients. Uh, companies that are best suited for big commerce are stores that are poised for growth. Big commerce supports the big brands that I mentioned. Um, so you can start off at a very small, uh, lower package. I think the rates start at about $29.95. But as you can see from the companies that I mentioned, like Toyota, you it has the, the depth to grow into something really significant. Um, it also is well suited for companies that utilize marketplaces like uh, Instagram and eBay, because those functionalities are built right in um, to the big commerce dashboard, which is really handy. Okay, so um, is there a type of business that may not be suitable for the big commerce platform? And what are some examples and why? So I don't wanna say that big commerce isn't suitable for any particular business or store because it, it really is for most. However, if you are a, a company that sells only just a handful of products, big commerce probably isn't for you because you'd be trading in some of the, the ease of use for the build with some functionality with product variations that you probably wouldn't use. Additionally, if you're looking for a super easy, fast setup, big commerce might not be right for you either because it does require some technical knowledge for setup. And if you don't have that on staff or don't want to hire someone out to give you a little assistance, big commerce just might not be the right choice for you. Okay. And so with all the various um, e-commerce platforms out there, 
can you give us a few platform comparisons? Like for example, how does big commerce compare to Shopify? Uh, Shopify and big commerce are fairly similar and they get compared a lot, but they do have a number of differences. And I do feel like big commerce comes out on top in a lot of different ways. And the first way that is, is with the APIs. Uh, Shopify has a limit on how fast you can access the APIs with two per second. And big commerce allows for 400 per second. So what that means is if you're trying to sync data from a PIM or an ERP, you'll hit those limits really quickly. So an example of that is if you're updating 25,000 products, it'll take four hours with Shopify and just a minute with big commerce. So that's a huge time saving difference. So if that's something you're looking for, that, that's a big one. Okay. Another place that big commerce stands out are with product options. Um, you can with Shopify have only three product options and a hundred SKUs and you know options that means you know color size things like that but if you've got a lot of variations with your products big commerce lets you have 250 different options with 600 SKUs each so if you've got a lot of options with products you're going to hit a roadblock with Shopify pretty quickly uh, another difference with Shopify is uh, is the lower rates. Uh, Shopify does have slightly lower rates than big commerce. However, they get you with um, with the payments, with payment gateways. If you don't use the Shopify payments, you tend to get dinged with uh, some transaction fees that aren't quite as high with big commerce. Uh, and lastly, I think um, with a, a, an ex another way we can talk about expenses with Shopify and big commerce, is that Shopify doesn't have as many features out of the box. And I, I kind of touched on that before, but with Shopify, you have to get a lot of apps to get the features that big commerce already has right on the dashboard. So you might be paying for monthly fees with these apps or even just a one-time charge, but that's not something you'll run into quite as much with big commerce. Okay, that makes sense. And then how does big commerce compare to WooCommerce on WordPress? Uh, okay, so WooCommerce um, is a natural choice for someone who's already on WordPress, um, but BigCommerce has a lot more to offer as far as built-in features once again. Um, most of what already exists in BigCommerce, you'd have to grab, like we talked about with Shopify, you'd have to grab another app. Um, uh, WooCommerce is also an open source platform, which means that you are responsible for all the security and compliance updates, and BigCommerce handles that for you being a SaaS platform. And one other drawback for WooCommerce is the customer support. Uh, they rely heavily on forums and don't offer a lot of customer support. And Big Commerce is really impressive with the amount of customer support they offer. Great. Okay, what about more robust platforms like Magento? So Magento and Big Commerce are, are really different. Um, the biggest difference is the fact that uh, Big Commerce is a SaaS platform and uh, Magento is open source. So SaaS platforms are traditionally and most often more easy. They're easier to manage. Um, their open source platforms are usually too technical for the average business owner to handle by themselves and maintain. Um, you'll likely need front and back end developers as well as a hosting infrastructure and that results in more cost. So while Magento open source is free, you need to most typically factor in the cost of developers hosting when you're making that comparison. Um, and again, it gets back to um, that out of the box feature that big commerce is so great for with um, what they've already have available. So things like um, if you do a lot of marketplace work, those are available out, out of the box with big commerce while Magento would require some um, additional modules. Same goes for abandoned cart emails and some content management features. Okay. And then how does the big commerce pricing structure work? So big commerce has four different plans for pricing. Uh, they range from $29 to enterprise, which is on a case by case. But the, the three most popular plans are $29 to $299 per month. And that's all based on your revenue. So are there going to be any big surprise expenses like upgrades every year with BigCommerce? Uh, no, there's no upgrade fees. What 
what you're charged is what you're charged. However, you might be, as I mentioned, with the with it being revenue based, if your revenue increases, like we all hope it will, um, you might be bumped to that next tier. Um, however, if you have a rough year, the good news is, if your revenue goes down, you'll be bumped to the lower tier as well. So you'll have to pay a little less. Okay. And then, how stable is the pricing, and can can a, a customer lock in the pricing for more than one year? Uh, no, the, it's it's done by the year. So you're you're locked in for your year, except for that fluctuation based on revenue, and you're revisited each year. Thanks, Kristen. This has been a great overview of the BigCommerce platform. And then in our next episode of the series, we will be discussing the usability and customization options for the Big Commerce platform. So thank you so much for your time today, and we look forward to seeing everyone in our next episode. Thank you. For more insights on how to improve your e-commerce website and for a free consultation, visit ironplane.com. Follow us on social media and like and subscribe below.